Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video for your ass. Yeah. Not <laughs> I don't know. I wanted a microphone today. No, speaking of that, y'all, I'm actually, I'm in the process of finding like a really good microphone, one that I could hook up to the camera. So like, I don't know, like just start enhancing my videos and the quality and stuff. So be on the lookout of that. And then I'm, I'm kind of hoping because I have a Chromebook. I probably need to get a laptop, but I have a Chromebook. And so I want to hook the microphone up to the Chromebook. So maybe I might be able to record because yeah, I've been writing a lot and I need to get in the studio ASAP. Like, really. But anyway, besides that, y'all can tell by the title, Dun Dun Dun, Vince Taylor, I, I'm a, a thief? Is it giving thief? Is it giving thief? Oh, okay. So, by the title, you could tell, this story time going to be about um the time where my mom and my brother said that I stole the, the court. The bitch, we just gonna get into it. We just gonna get into it. So this story happened back in, to be honest, I don't know when. This shit happened a long time ago. Probably back in like 2018, 2019. I don't know. But me and my brother, I think we had done graduated by this time. Yeah. Yeah, we were still staying with my mama and my daddy at the uh at the old house, right? So my mama, she was a type, like we were struggling, like me and my brother were struggling. We was trying to like um find a job and shit and we ain't had no gas in our car and shit. Sometimes she would go and purchase us gas cards. So shout out, shout out to that, because that was clutch. She would go and get us uh like gas cards and shit and put like I think one time she got me a gas card, she put like a hundred dollars on there. It was clutch. I'll be talking shit about my mama, but not everything she did was bad. That was clutch right there, cause yeah, I need that. I need that. But um so I think this particular time, it was either like my brother's birthday or was it Christmas? I don't know. I think it was some type of holiday or something. Or maybe it wasn't. To be honest, y'all, I do not remember. I don't remember. But long story short, my mama had brought my brother a gas card, right? I don't know how much money she put on there. Probably like $100, $200. I don't know. But she gave me, she bought my, no, it was probably like $80. Y'all, she bought my brother a gas card. And so... I ain't gonna lie, one thing about me, especially back in the day, like when you, I feel like this, I feel like people can relate if you grew up with siblings, but y'all play too much. Like if you got a sibling, you gonna play too much. You feel me? Cause it's like, you gonna be getting on your sibling nerves and does not. So back in the day, y'all, like I said, I used to play too much. So the way I was trying to trick my brother, right? I was like, um, I took his gas card to be honest, I don't even know how I could get it. Maybe he had it in his room somewhere. It was somewhere. And all I know is, I was like, I'm going to take his gas card and I'm going to hide it. Like, I was like, I'm going to hide it. Just because, like, I knew he was going to cut S and, like, he was going to be like, where my, uh, you see my gas card? And I was going to be like, no, da, da, da. Right? So, I took his gas card and I went and I hid it, right? And so, I was waiting on him to come and be like, my gas card y'all tell me why i don't even he ain't never come and ask me where it was at so i forgot really nigga i forgot like you ever try to pull a prank on somebody you forgot you pulling a prank on them i forgot because he probably wasn't straight he probably wasn't even worried about that shit he probably was doing something else so he ain't never come be like where my gas card at little nigga he ain't never do that so i really forgot that i had that shit this is how i remember Y'all, I had a whole lot of left the crib and every fucking thing. Whole lot of left the crib. I'm somewhere riding around, boom, I get a call. I don't know if my mama or my brother had called me one of them. But basically, they was like, um, have you seen your brother gas card? Because he said you had it. Like, he said you was the last person that who seen it or something. It was something they were saying. Like I said, y'all, this happened a long time ago, so I'm going to be paraphrasing a lot. I hope y'all could still follow me right so um they was like you see your brother gas card and i was like i think i probably said no 
I probably was like, no, but then I probably was like, oh yeah, I was planned and I had hit it. All I know is I told them that. I told them that. I was like, yeah, I had his car. I hit it somewhere and I'm finna come get it. So of course they was mad after that. They was like, he was like, or my mama, I don't know who I was talking to, but whoever I was talking to, I'm guessing they was like, why would you do that? Like, why would you hide the car? Da, da, da. And I'm telling them, I'm like, cause like, I wasn't even, I ain't mean it like that. Like I was just joking. Like I was trying to play a prank. Like, but I have, I legitimately just forgot that I had it. You feel what I'm saying? And so all I know was it just seemed like motherfuckers was trying to make it seem like I was like a thief or something. Basically, like I stole his car. So, well, by the time I was on the way home to come and retrieve the car, my mama was basically like creating a narrative that I stole my brother guest car and I spent the money. Like I stole his car and I used it. And it's like, my thing is, I see what you are saying because I did take his car, but I didn't take his car in with the intentions of using it because to me personally, that wouldn't have made any sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why would I take his car and spend the money on there knowing that I live with this nigga? You think this nigga was just gonna let me do that? You think I was just gonna be able to take his car and spend his money and then that's it? And if he could ask me about it, like what? I mean, that don't make sense to me. So that was never the plan. I, I really just was trying to be funny. I don't know, and it wasn't funny. <laughs> But yeah, but it was just crazy to me how I'm sitting up here. Like, I literally told them that's what happened. But still, there was this narrative being created. Like, oh, nah, she got that car. She took that shit and she spent the da, da, whatever. So I got home and like my brother, he seemed like he was mad. He wasn't like upset, upset. But I don't know, his energy was kind of off. Like, and that's something, because this happened a long time ago. But that's something that I did remember. Like his energy was kind of off towards me. And I was just really telling him, I was like, I was like, bro, I didn't see your car. I was I really was just playing too much. Like I was trying to play a prank on you. And he just was basically like, Well, I don't know, bro. That don't even really sound right for real. I don't know. I don't know. That shit was kind of weird because it's like, and you think I stole your shit too? But it's like, my thing is, y'all think I stole this shit, but what sense was that make? Like, I would have to pay that money back anyway. If I stole, if I spent that money off that court, whatever money I spent, I already know they're going to have it. like, okay, go ahead and pay that back. And as I should, because you shouldn't be going around taking people's shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me just go on with the story. So I get home. Y'all, I really have forgot where I hid that shit at. Like, when I tell you, I did not I guess I ain't playing that shit out. Like I really thought I was gonna take it real quick. My brother was gonna notice, and then he was gonna ask him about it, and then that was gonna be it. But the fact that my brother, the fact that he didn't notice that I had it until he went to go look for it, probably like a day went by, or I don't know if it was a whole day. I don't know how long went by, but he didn't notice that it was gone until he went to go look for it, y'all. So by this time, I had done forgot where I hid this shit at. I'm over here feeling dumb as fuck because I'm like, damn, like they downstairs thinking I stole his car and I'm up here knowing I didn't steal it, but I look suspicious as hell because I don't know where I put this shit. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? I swear to God, like I was, I was mad as hell at myself. I was really like, bro, you need to stop playing, bro. You play too fucking much. Like, I was sitting up here telling myself that shit. Cause really though, cause really though, like you, I ain't had to do that. I ain't even had to do that. But honestly, like I said, my intentions behind it wasn't to be mean or to, you feel me? I just was playing. Like, I don't know. I can't really explain it. Like I wanted him, I don't know. Like I wanted him to be like, where my card at? Where my card at? And you know how when you try to play something off like a little kid, you be trying to act like, oh no, I ain't seen it. And whole time, <laughs> whole time you got it. Anyway, my bad. Back to the story. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm upstairs, y'all. I'm looking all in my room. I'm searching for this shit. My brother done came upstairs. He watching me look through this shit. And like I told y'all, I look sus. Because it's like, bitch, if you say you hit it, just go to the hottest spot you hit it at. Like, how you just forget where you hit it at. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. So, I was looking, looking, looking. Y'all, so, boom. I finally had found it. I finally found that shit. And so I have, yeah, I took it downstairs. I was like, here go your car. Like, and I was really sorry because I felt bad. I felt like 
it was a joke turn wrong he was about to go somewhere and he had to sit there and wait for me to find his card so that shit did backfire you feel me because it's like damn like you feel, it just wasn't funny like you know it was it was a bad joke so um i had brought the card downstairs to him and i was like here go your card like my bad i'm sorry and he wasn't like like i said his energy towards me was just weird like he wasn't mad but he was just like I don't know, look, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And I could be wrong. Like, this could just be how I'm thinking of it now. But it's almost like, it's almost like they, I ain't gonna say they, like, more so like my mama. It's almost like they wanted me to have stolen the cord. Like, they wanted to have proof that, oh, I stole the cord. Like, that's what happened. Because I was kind of confused on... I was sitting up here, especially my brother. I know my mama, she be like, because I try to tell my mama shit. She be like, you're a lawyer. Bitch, okay, whatever, shut up. Like, but when my brother, usually I try to like, sometimes I could come try to tell my brother some shit. And it's like, he'll know, like, you feel me? He'll know what's up. But it's like, I try to tell my brother, like, I was some real shit. Like, bro, I ain't steal your car. Like, I really was just playing. And it's almost like, he ain't believe me or whatever. Like, he just was like, yeah, bro, whatever, like. It was weird. Like, I wish I could explain it, but I really can't. And then this shit happened so long ago, y'all. I wish I had more details. But yeah, like, the energy was just given that it was disappointment that I didn't steal the car. Like, that wasn't the narrative. That wasn't the T. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then nobody was like, oh, my bad. Like, or I'm sorry. And like, I could have, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I shouldn't have been playing, but honestly, it wasn't that serious. At least to me personally, it wasn't that serious. Like, nothing happened to the car. The car was literally here the whole fucking time. So, it wasn't even like I took the car with me and was like riding around with it. You know what I'm saying? It was literally in my room. So, I just thought that was weird how they tried to put that narrative on me. To be honest, I'm not surprised though with my mom because. I felt like the fact that I wasn't shown as a thief in this scenario and that I was actually telling the truth on what I was saying, I felt like my mom didn't want to accept that because my mom is a thief. Like, my mom has stolen from me and my brother. Like, from as kids, as teens, as adults, like, my mom has taken from me and my brother, like, throughout our whole childhood. And that is, that is facts. So, I feel like... Since my mom knows that she has stolen from us, me in this scenario being a thief, that would have made my mom feel better because she knows like, oh, well, I've taken stuff like from y'all. So it's like, oh, well, she does it too. Taylor has stolen. Taylor took this. Like Taylor out here taking shit. I feel like she could use that to like internally make herself feel better for, for stealing from us. But in all honesty, and I actually thought about this earlier, I honestly can say I've never stolen from my mom. I've never stolen from any of my family members. Well, like from my brother, it would be like little shit, you know, like candy and shit. You know, and then like hair products. Like my brother has some bomb ass hair conditioner. Oh yeah, I was definitely in the shower using that shit. I ain't even gonna lie. But as far as stealing something of like substance, like money or just things that I knew if I stole this, it would be an issue. It would be a problem for this person. I've never done that. And it's like the way my mom raised us was that stealing is bad. Like stealing is not good. You're not supposed to do that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even though like, I don't know, we ain't gonna talk about it, but that's just something I had noticed. Like, I felt like in that situation, like my mom in particular, she wanted me to have stolen the card and used his money because honestly, that's something my mom probably would have done. She's done that before. Like I remember being young as hell and I'm talking, I probably was like 10, 11. I had $20 because we would get paid $20 in allowance, right? But I was a little kid and I ain't gonna lie. I used to leave my shit laying around like money and shit. I left my money in the pantry downstairs, like where the washing dryer was. My mom took my $20. Really, nigga? She took that shit. Like, she took that shit. Like, <laughs> it's fifty. And you know I ain't get it back. Like, she ain't even say nothing about it. That was 
we ain't you know we're not talking about that but that's just the point i'm trying to make is like when a nine times out of ten when people try to force a certain narrative on you and you know deep down inside that's not a narrative that you reside with like like resonate with that type of behavior or that type of narrative that person is trying to point you nine times out of ten that person exhibits that behavior within themselves you know what i'm saying so if somebody always around you like you're uh you're a liar you always lying you always lying but you know like like maybe i've lied to this person but it wasn't that serious like i don't know like or maybe like you know you just start second guessing yourself like am i a liar <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like really that person is probably just a liar and they lie to you same with cheating if somebody is always accusing you of cheating and you've never cheated on this person it's kind of be like nine times out of ten that person is a fucking cheater and when it came down to it like i said i never stole from my brother but it's like my mom definitely got them had access to his account like, I, that's all i'm gonna say i ain't gonna say too much but my mom definitely had access to my brother's account and out of both of us she she turned out to be the thief in the scooby-doo movie bitch yeah she was the evil villain i'm sorry <laughs> sorry like that's the real fucking tea so i don't know i feel like that story was short that's really pretty much what happened that should just have me fucked up because it's like girl don't try to play me <laughs> don't try to play me like don't try to play me to be no thief that's you you take people's shit and no let me stop but anyway i i don't know i'm probably gonna record another video because i feel like this video just wasn't i don't know but anyway if y'all like this video please go ahead and leave a like comment and if you ain't subscribed already Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'm going to see you in my next video.